Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're going to show you how to put two different materials together. The similar being one of them is 304 stainless, which is the top piece, and the bottom piece is just a mild steel, a 1018 mild steel. So the question is, how do you weld it? Is it compatible? Can you weld it? And what concerns would you have? Well, we're going to be using a filler material, uh, and we picked it off of a chart. This chart is on well.com, and you can, you can pull it up at any time. But uh, we've selected a 309 stainless steel filler material. So uh, I just happen to have this little tool with me, and I always like to play with the different tools that are out on the market. And in fact, this, this tool is a rotary turntable. It's been around for years and years and years. It's got a cool name to it, too. It's called the Aircrafter. Um, anyway, it's a T25 Aircrafter made by MK Products. So, MK, thank you for sending it to us and letting, letting us play with it. So, I had to take it out of the package. Uh, this is going to be a rotary weld, so it should be a good-looking weld when it's finished. But this little tabletop model rotary turntable uh, is cute. Now, we're just going to prove it out. I, I happen to know that this model has been out for a long, long time, so it should work out just fine for my needs. It'll also swivel. It'll, it'll tilt to 90 degrees. In this particular case, I'm going to weld it, this part straight up. Now, this little rotary comes with a little 5-inch diameter plate, uh, so there's no other tooling. It's very simple. It's got a setting here where you can increase or decrease your rotation. And I can look at it and say, well, this really cranks down low in travel speed. Uh, you can turn it all the way up and hit this foot control. This foot control is a variable foot control. So if you want to use this and not have to worry about doing it like a sewing machine, trying to adjust this while you're welding you know, with your foot pedal, yeah, find the right speed. And then you can crank it over here and... For instance, this is probably about the speed that I'm going to be running. It's about a half an RPM or so. So there's not a lot of whistles and bells on this. Uh, you've got this, and if you want to shut it off manually, you've got a little toggle switch here. And you can reverse it as well. So just know that uh, we're, going to, we're going to put our gear on. I'm going to use a setup that I've already got on the torch, and I've used this many, many times. I'm going to keep it on here, my jumbo gas lens. Not only does it give good color for stainless steel, but you can see real easy. Um, I'm running it at probably around 30 CFH of argon, just to get the shielding that I need. So let me put my gear on and uh, see how this works and see how that filler works as well. Okay, just remember the steel is on the bottom, the stainless steel is on the top. The stainless uh, typically is a little shinier. That's why people like to weld it. You know, it's, uh, it's welding up real good. I'm just creating a little dab technique. This is just kind of like a semi-automatic welder. Dab, dab, dab. I just ran over a real ugly looking tack. I think I absorbed it. You, know, you can see that the uh, filler is working out real well. You really can't tell much of a difference, uh, you know, in the filler. You can't see that there's any kind of uh, incompatibility of any kind. I'm just running a, a 1 16th tungsten pointed. This is DC. Just a dab, dab, dab. Oh, there, I got a uh, attack that I'm getting ready to absorb. Okay, and I think I did. I 
Okay, so I think I've uh, I think I've gone a full 360, and I've overlapped, and I just taper off real slow, real slow, and then everything's re-solidified, and I hold the torch there for a little bit. Post flow is about 10 seconds. Okay, and the weld is finished. Okay, now that we finished the weld, I want to do a little recap on it. I was using uh, the jumbo gas lens. Like I say, it does give it a little better color, but just welding it with stainless filler actually gives it much nicer color than using steel. Uh, the two materials are considered incompatible if you try to weld them to themselves. But if you add this filler, the 309, and it's one of about three fillers you can use, I, I recommend going to the chart. So uh, I selected 309 today, and in result, I mean, this machine just worked great. I got a speed going that I felt comfortable with. So, you know, you may have a different speed. You may have to slow it down, speed it up. But just get a nice rhythm and get your dabs going consistent. And once you finish, you look at it, and you go, gosh, it, it looks like an automatic weld. Made me look good. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with this little little rascal. But uh, I hadn't used one in quite a few years, and uh, they certainly are still good. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.